Hello, First Baptist. I uh, apologize for missing out on the past couple of weeks, but I wanted to uh, get back to this uh, bit of a devotion series and uh, just share with you a bit of scripture that I feel uh, God has laid on my heart um, as our country begins healing from, from one thing and then being afflicted by another. Um, the best place we can do is find ourselves in scripture and where in God's word, uh, can we, can we go to begin healing and moving forward? Um, so I want to read today from Luke chapter 18. Uh, I'm going to just begin at verse nine and, uh, I want us to try to approach things from, from this angle. I think we've got a lot of division in our country and among different people when we when we look at things contrary to this view. Um, so I think a place where we can begin to meet people where they're at and help them heal and not make problems worse uh, can be found in this portion of Scripture. So again, Luke chapter 18, starting in verse 9. He, as in Jesus, also told this parable to some who trusted themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, sending, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get, but the tax collector standing far off would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast saying, God be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down into his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Uh, I think in this time that we when we when we pick sides and divide our country and ignore things that are going on, we find ourselves being like the Pharisee. And I fear that when we pray, we pray as the Pharisee and forget that we are all sinners. We are all sinners in need of God's grace and need of Jesus' uh, sacrificial death to, to make us right. And when we truly understand that and we truly feel that way, that's where we can begin to help others to meet them where they're at and not stay where we are. So I pray that as we continue to, to move forward and as the church figure out a way to do our job, to, to fulfill our calling in this, in this role in this time, that we would begin by praying for God to forgive us uh, of our views and our thoughts and our actions and to give us, uh, to equip us with the Holy Spirit to help others, to meet others' needs, to care for each other and to, to, to be the church that this world needs, that this nation needs, uh, that all people need and and to not pick a side or uh, feel that we are above any other. Uh, no sin is is greater or less than another, and no person is greater or less than another. So, uh, church, I love you, I miss you, and uh, I'm a sinner in need of God's grace.